You guys, y'all see this fresh face? Y'all see this fresh face? Y'all see this face? Mm-hmm. Better get ready for that skincare line. Ha-ha! <laughs> y'all see this fresh face? There's no makeup face, but oh, yo, I always gotta mm-hmm it's gonna moisturize my lips though yeah even if i don't have makeup on my face can't miss the lips you gotta moisturize you have to moisturize hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we will be cooking this vlog is just gonna be about me cooking nigerian style concoction rice with beef so I was just sitting there and I just started getting so hungry and I didn't want to go out to buy food. I'm just like, what do I have in this house? I have, I don't know, like, hmm, I have beef that I used for my foreign food the other time. I have some leftover and I have rice. I have a couple of things, condiments in the house. So why don't I just make a very quick emergency concoction rice with what I have in the house? So I'm gonna make this real quick. I'll show you guys how I make this simple concoction rice in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set 30 minutes on the clock to see if I'm gonna make it. If I don't make it, please do not. <laughs> don't finish me, but well, anyway, the idea is just to make it real quick, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45, but it's just that emergency rice that you decide to cook when you're like so hungry and you don't feel like cooking something serious. So let's get right into it. condiments that we're going to use we're keeping it real simple and tasty so let's get right into it i'm gonna set the clock real quick let's go Oops. start so the first thing is you want to measure your rice so i'm going to make just one cup this really depends on how much beef sauce you have so i've used my eyes to look and see that i don't have a lot of beef sauce what i have is just for about a cup so Pour in my rice. Since it's a cup, I'm also gonna use about a cup of water to boil it. The thing is, typically for this, some people usually have like some people usually have rice already parboiled rice that they have in the fridge. That would be so cool because it will make your work pretty faster. That's one cup. Mm -hmm. I'm recovering. Help me. Okay. All right. So while my rice is for boiling, I'll start cutting this up. Typically, you can blend this pepper, but I just like cutting it because <laughs> I want to feel the pepper. I want to feel that spice and honestly if you're someone that you can't touch pepper because some people can't touch pepper it's really like it's ooh, your hand burns but i can touch pepper and it, my hand wouldn't burn like that so chop it up 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 all right oh lord it's already four minutes okay guys this is not gonna be 30 minutes I'm sorry. <laughs> Chop the onions as well. You want to keep your eye on your rice because you don't want it to boil too much. So I'm going to chop up my onions. I usually like my onions in cubes. That's just my style. You can cut this any how you want to cut it. It works. So we have our onions. Look. We have our onions chopped. You are not using crayfish. You gotta be sure that you seasoned the hell out of your protein, whether it's beef or um, whether it's beef or goat meat, anything that you use. If you don't want to use crayfish, you have to have seasoned the hell out of it. For the rice, you see how long we cooked it. I'm gonna wash my rice. I like to wash the bottom and. 
well and wash it. So I'm gonna rinse my rice out right now. any amount of rice. If you want to do two cups, three cups, any how you want it. Any how you want it. It just depends on how much sauce you have. How much beef sauce you have. And another thing is, even if you don't have enough beef sauce, another method to do it is to use um, to use beef broth. So you can use beef broth. I don't have beef broth today. That's why. If I had beef broth, I would have probably cooked like two cups. The next thing you want to do is pour your beef sauce into your cooked rice. So, let me do that. Now, typically, it would be good if you could measure this to make sure it's about a little about a cup of water. But the thing is, I don't want to do that because if I put this um, into a measuring cup, all my sauce is gonna <laughs> is gonna stick to the cup. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, since look, the sauce is not enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'll add a little bit of water, about a quarter of a cup, because the thing is, I just want the rice to cook a little bit. Okay, so you put the water, you put the water. So you just want the water to be a little bit above the rice and then we'll put it back on the stove. So while the rice is cooking, we'll start frying our onions and peppers and everything friable. <laughs> So I'm going to taste my rice to see how tasty it is and what it needs. You notice I haven't put any salt or maggi or anything like that yet. So now I'm going to taste my rice just to see. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just about um, just a pinch of salt. I'm going to add half. I'm going to add half of this Maggi. Just half. Everything depends on your taste. What you need the most is the technique and then you got to adjust everything else to your taste because people's tastes are different. Like we taste things differently. So the amount of salt that works for me may not work for you. So you just got to decide and keep tasting. Yeah, so I added just a pinch of that salt and half of that Maggi and this is mwah, absolutely woo, amazing. So now, turn this on, get to frying, baby! A little bit of oil and I'm just going to put that, just like that because I like hearing that whatever, that little sound. Then I'm going to put in my onion. You don't you want to put your onions first. You don't want to put the onions in the pepper. If not, you're going to start sneezing. So, you just fry. Let me move this closer. So, you fry. Fry your onion. And I'm going to let this, um, I'm going to use this, I'm going to let this cook a little bit and give that fragrance, that, ooh onion fragrance then I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the meat I'm not using a lot of meat in this because this is leftover meat so it's not a lot I finally cooked my curry run the other day and that's where all the meat went like <laughs> it was too much like it was a lot of meat so I'm like you know what let me just take out a little and leave it in the fridge and that's a good thing with having leftovers, like sometimes, guys, when you cook, if you if you cook and um, you have a lot of meat, just keep it, just keep it, because when it, when it comes to things like this, all, you know, all this very quick emergency food, that needs to come in handy. Yeah. So at this point, I can add the pepper now. Add the pepper, and it's 
not gonna make you bleed too much at this point. And then you add the meat. Like I said, I have this. So the thing here is, I don't want my rice to cook too much. I don't want my rice to overcook because when I put it in here, I'm gonna let it cook for a longer time. The thing with rice is, this is done actually. Because the thing with, um, the main thing with rice is you don't want it to be overcooked. As rice cooks with peas. some ginger and throw in a little bit of garlic as well you can put powder you can put this type any kind of ginger you don't want it any kind is fine This is what I said, like you always, you have to pay attention to your rice. If not, it's going to overcook or it's going to burn. So this is, this is not too cooked, this is good. It's almost done, so I've turned down my heat a lot. Like turned it almost to low, completely, because I don't want it to burn. And it is time. So now you pour the rice into the onions that you fried. So now, depending on how cooked you want your rice to be, you are, some people like their rice to be hard, you know, still hard, but I like mine to be somewhere in between. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn, I turn my stove into between three and low. You could even leave it completely at low. And then, you cover it. Depending on how you want this, you can just cover this in the coral. Put some holes in, in your coral because you don't want it to be soggy. I have my rice on the fire, it's getting soft and it's just steaming. And I'm gonna just let it sit for a while. Guys, so we're literally 30 minutes in. So this rice is done. This rice actually is done, okay? So at this point, you can eat, but I'm just gonna let it cook a little bit. And honestly, you can actually add basil to it. When you add basil, it gives it a whole different flavor. Like, it is amazing. The only reason I'm not gonna add basil to mine is because I looked at this basil and it, it doesn't look fresh anymore. I've had it in my fridge for a while, so I'm not gonna use it, I'm just gonna throw it away. Um, yeah, then if you notice, another thing that I didn't do is I cut out on the, on the crayfish. I just didn't feel like putting the crayfish anymore. So you know what? Leave the crayfish alone. And um, everything else was in, and boy, this rice tastes amazing. So, don't make sure Make sure you don't forget your rice on the fire. Just keep checking it out because it's gonna depend on how soft you want it to be or how hard you want it to be. So my rice is done guys and it took me a little bit of over 30 minutes and this one right now, the rice is really soft to my taste. It's not hard, it's not too soft and I will just turn off the heat. Turned off my heat, everything is done, and that is it. 
That is it, guys. That is it. It tastes amazing. You can see the pepper. So you just know how spicy this is. It is very spicy and it is so tasty. It is so tasty, guys. It's tasty, it's spicy, and boy, my nose is already, <laughs> my nose is already like, hmm. <laughs> that is how I make my Nigerian concoction rice with beef, guys, in about 30 minutes. From start to finish, that's how you do it. That is the end of my cooking vlog, and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.